Mike was 21 and Robin was 22. watch Phil Donahue when I, <laughs> I grew up on Phil Donahue, you know? And you watch those shows and you think of women that have been hit. You go, oh my God, that would never happen to me. What's wrong with this woman? I remember the impact. I remember the turn and the hook. He hit me on the side of the head. And I went from one corner of the wall, bounced off that corner of the wall to another corner, and then I was out. I didn't think he would do that. I was shocked. I went from being completely numb to completely embarrassed. I remember thinking, wow, he must really love me. <laughs> I remember feeling that, not thinking it, feeling it. A few weeks after that episode, Mike and Robin were married. Their life became an open book. Fantastic. Their honeymoon played out before the world press in Tokyo, where Mike and Robin were treated like royalty. <laughs> that Tony Tubbs fight. Tubbs is hurt. Tubbs is hurt badly. It was a left hook. The fight is over. With stunning swiftness. Two days later, Tyson rushed to a New York hospital where his mentor, Jim Jacobs, lied dying. He didn't make it in time. Tyson never got to say goodbye. I love Jacob. He was a beautiful man. It was all teamwork, I believe, in my life. He was just awesome, man. Jacob's death left his partner Bill Caton in charge of Mike's career. But Mike didn't really trust or know Bill Caton. At Jacob's funeral, in rode Don King, sensing the first real crack in the Catskill connection. Jim was the protector in that world. And a lot of people knew that Michael didn't have a relationship with Bill, so he was pretty much up for grabs. It was like open season, who's, who's gonna get him? Jim, you know? You know, why didn't you let us know? Like, why didn't you prepare us, you know? Because I honestly believe we had no, we weren't prepared for Jim's death. And he hadn't prepared us for what was going to happen. Give me a minute. Greed reaches at the deepest core of people. It reaches deep at them. And they're fighting for me and stuff and all that crap. And then that made it easy for Don King to sneak in. And he used, um, he got me good. He was pretty good. Cool. He's a very interesting individual. Not only am I hurt, um, I become the bad guy now. I'm just young and I'm emotional and people are putting cameras in my face looking at me like this is a big strong guy, the strongest guy in the world going berserk. I'm just a baby, 20, 21 years old. I think he was feeling probably unbelievable amounts of pressure. And I think being in love makes you feel vulnerable. We were both feeling vulnerable, I think, you know, because we were so dependent in many respects. 
And I think we just couldn't handle the pressure that we were getting. One time it had gotten pretty bad, and he swung a phone at me that I knew was going to hit my face. And really, I was, I think I felt the pain before, you know, it didn't have, but just choking me, me vomiting and him kicking me, things like that. But he felt bad. I mean, he felt really bad afterwards. You know, he'd cry like a baby. Next, I mean, like a baby, just cry. I would hold him. I'd hold ice on my face and hold him, you know, and tell him I'm, I'm cons I would console him. And you would think this is a grown man that has all of his um, emotional capabilities and um, and together and intact, and it's just not true. It was some kind of love. I mean. The kind you doesn't go away. That kind. I don't know why I wanted to be a renegade in any way. I was just living my life, being Mike Tyson, doing what I want to do, just being rebellious. I just wanted the taste of that world, you know what I mean? I wanted that forbidden fruit that everyone else had. But those ordeals, and you say, whoa. I, sometimes, it's so ironic, sometimes I think about things that when I was 20 or 21, and I used to get so nervous, I thought, oh, God, what was on my mind? What was I thinking when I was doing that? I want to accomplish greatness. I want to, you know, that's what me and Cuss planned to do when we first started. You know, I want to get some closure myself and get some kind of greatness. I popped on the scene and made it, and uh, the real I became to myself, the more phony everything else was around me. You know, I'm a great manipulator. You have to understand, in order to be the... The, the greatest fighter in the world, you have to be the greatest liar in the world. Deep down inside, I think I'm um, I hear the actor, entertainer crying out. You know, I'm doing it in the ring. Ah! I don't know what the hell I am. I'm a nut. Out of the ring, 